Is it time to choose? Do I have to make a decision? Do I want to switch to hunting or stay with fishing? Or do I have to stop fishing and go to hunting now that it's September? I drove through a back road the other day in a, a field full of trucks. Uh, everybody going dove hunting. Obviously squirrel season, rabbit season's in around here. Deer season's getting in. And a lot of people are trading in their fishing poles and pulling out their hunting stuff and kind of will just do away with this. So is creek fishing done or can I still go out there and catch fish or should I just put it away, focus on hunting if you're in hunting? Well, at the end of this video, I'll let you know what I really think about this fall time of the year and uh, what I'm going to be doing. But right now, let's go out to a creek and I'm picking up one of my favorite lures, a spinnerbait, and we'll see what's going on. Hmm. Well, there's a little murky, a little murkier than I thought it was going to be, but this creek kind of stays that way, so. All right, let's just make a few casts here and we'll try to get in and work our way around a little bit. Yep, yep, there it is. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> oh man, I looked away and I heard something. <laughs> Boom, look at that. That's what we're looking for. Hungry largemouth bass. I guess I gotta definitely gotta get in the creek now. Got one standing off the bank. That's always really good. <laughs> um, he hit that thing pretty good. That's a you know a good size, good healthy looking one. Real pale. The water's murky here. I don't know why it's so murky. They haven't had that much rain. It must have got a little bit of rain. I didn't didn't realize. Mmm, that felt good. That's why I don't wade this creek very much because it's muddy and rocky bottom. It kind of goes back and forth. Uh, lots of log jams and I can never tell how deep it is. There's certain areas that are really deep and then certain areas that are not. Oh yeah, there's another one, there's another one. <laughs> Man, it may be that day I've been looking for. Fish number two. Oh, small little largemouth, so two largemouth. There are other species in here, but mainly largemouth in here. I think my camera was pointing up. Fish number two, uh, he's about a nine inch one, 10 inch maybe. I could tell right away these bass were hungry and ready to eat. And speaking of hungry, ready to eat, I'm thankful for having a sponsor for this video. And today's sponsor is Factor. If you're like me, I'm pretty lazy, never cook anything, never have any food at my house, always have to go out to eat. Or maybe you just wanna kinda cut back on shopping and going out to eat or making meals. And that's where I'm thankful to be working with Factor. Factor delivers fresh, never frozen meals, and the best part is there's no prep, no cleanup, and they're ready in just two minutes. This September, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door, ready in two minutes, no prep, no mess. And now, does it taste good? Loaded bacon and shredded chicken. Ooh. Pretty good. It's actually very good. If this sounds like it's something you need, um, like it's something that I need, you can head to factor75.com or you can click the link below and use code CFA50 to get 50% off your first factor box. All right, I am coming back to life. I have not been feeling the greatest today and I was about to go get something to eat and the uh, the factor box actually showed up, so I'm gonna I need to get some more food in me. Thinking about eating another one before I go though. Now let's go ahead and get back to the fishing because there's more bass coming. Man, it's crazy how we went to that deep spot right there. It was like four or five foot deep. Then all of a sudden we have an area, dude. This ain't even. I can't believe this. Is there is this thing going around an island? No, I think this is the main creek. 
man it is not a lot of water right here it's crazy how the pools on this thing are different this is all gravel right here too <laughs> dude they are hitting today i haven't covered that much water this is some of the best uh i've had out of this creek in a while another uh little guy but this is a small little pool the, the water is actually low pretty low so um it, it it looks murky but it always does it's not terribly murky these fish are used to it but i've always used spinner baits in here or i like to just cover water there's another one and they oh that's a rock bass i think nice i don't catch a lot of rock bass out of here look at how he choked that they are they are eating this thing i love catching on a spinnerbait too that's a nice looking rock bass dude we got four fish we've been here my camera's been rolling for 16 minutes that's that is amazing out of this creek Come on, where are these fish at? Yeah. As soon as I say I expect to catch a fish out of this hole, then I don't catch anything. It looks really good. Got to be sitting around on these ledges somewhere. All right, we're getting to what more of the creek looks like. This is what it looks like most of the time. Most We just went through a section that's kind of clear but um i see one two three trees across the water well i'm sure there's fish in here somewhere there's gotta be fish holding up in this log jam all right well I know what log jam I made it to. We're going to turn back. All right, went downstream just a few miles and we're going to hit this area. I think I got a little room to fish in there. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, I lost it. I got hit right off that grass, off that current. Of course, I'm throwing. Oh, got it that time. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh my goodness. That was a big old bass. And I'll tell you why I didn't land it. I couldn't get a hook set on him. I'm, I'm, I'm standing on the edge of this grass trying to make an undercast under that. I can't jerk up. I can't really, I can't jerk that way. I had to kind of slide it this way. That was at least a three pounder. That was the fish I've been looking for. And I just couldn't get him. Man, I'm just, I was just in a bad spot. But that's, that is, why do those big ones always hit? I think it's because you make those casts that you have to make to get those bites. If I would, if I'd have walked up closer and like stood right beside it and cast it, I'd have spooked the fish off. We've gone ahead and kind of went on the or on the other side of town now so this is spot number three and um this one i can go down the bank that way or you know that way for a while i think uh if, if there's still access there but i'm hoping to now that i lost that big one I'm hoping to get at least a a few more fish There's one. A little large mouth. Try to get him in quick. Uh, I'm just looking for that big one to hit. Look how deep he ate it. I don't see. That's why it's weird that I lost that big one. I just the way I set the hook. This one. That's why I keep going back and just thinking about it. I had to. I was leaning down. I had to set the hook down. But 
Uh, that guy ate it good. The ones that I've been eating it, I've been just really committing to it. Oh, oh, another one. Same spot. <laughs> Two off the same point. That uh, grass right there where it's, the current's going that way and this way. I think the same one. No, he's a little bit smaller. I'm about to say the same one, is it? Uh, I was just, I didn't even think really to make another cast there. I was just kind of making some random casts. I'm like, well, let me know. Throw another one by there. That's funny. Two of them hanging out right there. Any more hanging out right there? I guess I'll make a couple more casts. Forgot about these ponds. There's a pond right there and a pond right here. And there's another one over there. That one looks really covered in moss. There's something moving around in it though. I see something moving around. It could be a muskrat. This one looks clear. Man, I ain't, I ain't been to this in years. Let's make a few casts in here. There's one. Oh wow, that's a good fish. Holy cow. I was thinking I was gonna get out of here. Is it that big? Dude, it's not bad. <laughs> wow. It's not as big as the one lost in the creek though. I'll tell you what, that one in the creek was bigger than that. Oh, that's a good fish. It's real thick. Now nothing, you know, monstrous, but probably a pound and three quarters how thick it is. At least pound and a half fit bass. Well, that was worth coming up here and making a few casts. A lot of grass on this stuff. A couple deer running off right there. Sun's setting really nice looking. What? No fishing or parking. Well, good thing I went up by the creek, but well, I guess you can't fish there. Hmm. It got dark on me pretty quick at the creek, so I didn't have a lot of time there. But two days later, it was Labor Day, and my brother and sister-in-law wanted to go kayaking. So I loaded up uh, three of the kayaks, and we were going to do just a couple miles on the end of the river where it runs into the lake. And I figured I'd bring my spinnerbait rod with me and uh, check this out. Uh, we're gonna start out with a spinnerbait. Got a spinnerbait tied on. I have one ultralight rod and one uh, spinning rod. We got a good bit of current. I like that. There's one. <laughs> That's what we're looking for right there. Nice. I already got one. Dude, what a start. I'm looking over there at my brother. We just put it in our kayaks. That is a nice bass. He is thick. That's a lar nice large mouth. Just choked that spinnerbait. Check out that. He's uh, probably, probably 15, 16 inches like that. Let's get him back in. Oh, yeah. They're feeding. Holy cow. Like two casts later. I right, get a picture of this one. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, your phone. Look at that one. Got it. Dude, fish number two. Just a couple minutes in. That's a spotted bass. Let's go on, Dorman. You're having some of these. Uh, no. I'm 
too busy fishing here. Dude. Don't distract. Got two fish, the fastest I've ever caught two fish in my life. I'm ready to eat. Let's get this thing over with. I caught two fish, I'm done. And you start looking for stuff that, but that's, that's, that's where he comes back to his building, but is it gonna be, oh man. I just had a good one falling off the floor. Um, is it gonna be worth it? Oh, got him. Fish oh, yeah. This is a good fish. Man, these guys are strong and eating good. No, he's not even that big. Just a spot. Dang, is that like the third one? Yeah. We've been out here, I don't even know how long. 15 minutes? Third one, this is crazy. Like, they're eating. And it's the middle of the day. That's what I love about uh, river fall fishing. It's what? 11.30? We were going to get out here at 10. We got here at like 11.30. Yeah. I've got three good ones in 15 minutes. So if you made it to the end, you're probably a big fishing fan and you probably realize that there is a lot of good fishing in the fall. And if you are a river, creek, stream uh, type fisherman, this could be the best fishing time of the year. Like I used to not do a lot of fall fishing. I would kind of just stop, but Dude, right now, right at the first of the transition, the days have started getting shorter. It may not even got, feel cooler to you. It may feel like the dead of summer, but the days have already getting shorter. Uh, that means less sunlight on the streams. The fish already know it, and the smaller the streams, the faster they change and drop in temperature. And right now can be your best time to be out there fishing. So don't put away the kayaks or all the fishing rods if you love stream fishing. Right now is the time to be out there getting it done. I fished two hours at a creek in this video and about an hour and a half at the river. Just very short amount of time and the fish were munching. And the spinnerbait's one of my favorite lures, but you know, a lot of people will tell you it's a great lure for fall. But September and October, do some river fishing. Like I've had some really good days in November in the bigger rivers, my small streams start to slow down and it depends on what region you're in. But definitely like September, October, keep your fishing gear. Get out there, the water's not that cold. One little safety tip, if you are, a, especially if you're a wade fisherman, start really watching out where you're wading because I go a lot of places that I've seen deer stands and this, as soon as it gets deer season, especially deer season, because uh, the guys in bows can you know go in all camo and you might walk right up on uh, a deer hunter and they, you, know, you don't want to bother people but also, you may be going down places where no one's ever bothered you, but no one goes there. Maybe they rent those lots for deer season or land gets leased. So it's just something to keep in your mind. There is a lot of people out there hunting. So um, I kind of start to worry about a little bit about where I'm going. And even if it's on like in the public land, people can hunt public land. So start taking that into mind. Now if I'm kayaking, I think I'm still fine in the bigger waterways. It's usually those smaller waterways just to kind of watch out for. Well, thanks so much for watching. Also, glad to add a sponsor for the video. If you've followed up recently, I, I kind of ruined a GoPro and I lost some rods. So some of those little sponsors and some of those things I'm trying to take on will help pay for some of those expenses to keep me being able to, I guess, make videos. So that's it. Appreciate it.